you know the party's about to be legit if the cocktail de camarón is on point. I'm gonna show you how to do this. Let's chop it up. First things first, let's get our poaching liquid going. Add some salt to boiling water, a splash of apple cider vinegar, and a teaspoon of black peppercorns. Half a lemon, one clove of garlic, cilantro, and onion. Cover. All you want is the flavors to infuse with the water. Add your shrimp, give it a little stir to make sure all is submerged. This is gonna take really quick, so all you want is the shrimp not to be clear, and you just wanna make sure that it's like pretty much white all over. Just make sure it's cooked. Pretty much I just let this cool down naturally. I don't rinse out any of the flavor. Now let's prep the veggies. Go ahead and take your cucumber, take the ends off and just cut it in half. We're only gonna use half the cucumber. To keep it from rolling, I just slice off one of the sides, then I make planks, and then I go ahead and make some sticks, and then I dice it from there. This makes everything look even. So pretty much the vision of the recipe is we want everything to be able to fit on the cracker. So all our knife cuts have to be diced very fine, like me. So after we're done small dicing the onion, we're gonna do the same thing with the tomato. Wash, rinse, and repeat. Cut an end off so it doesn't roll just like the cucumber. Now you're gonna see some ingredients that I add and that's just my personal touch to the recipe. Like I'm gonna go ahead and put some scallions and I cut them on the bias. What that is is just cutting it on an extreme angle and it gives sort of like an edge-like look to your uh, vegetable. If your knife is sharp, it'll make a lot of your cuts look professional. Like when I chiffonade the cilantro, it makes it look so easy and it slices it through it and I just cut through it only once. Manila mango is another personal touch I add to this dish. It adds a lot of sweetness and it plays really well with the rest of the dish and it adds a touch of the Philippines to Mexico. Right now I'm just peeling the mango with my knife. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna cut two ends off and because the mango has a large seed in the center, so after I get both halves off, all I do is just clean around the seed so I'm not wasting any of the meat of the mango. When I'm done with this, I'm able to get my small dice going. As a kid, mango is just one of those things we just used to cut the halves off with the skin on and eat them out with a spoon. For my recipe, I use serrano peppers, but I don't dice them really small or take out the seeds. We want all that caliente up in there. So when we got all our ingredients prepped up, this is how all the cuts should look. Now this is how I do it. You could cut it any way you want, but here are all the ingredients. Let's go ahead and chop it up. In a mixing bowl, add your clamato and add your tomato juice. I usually go equal parts. Add a splash or so of OJ and then a couple dashes of Worcestershire. Add some Valentina, I use the one with the black label. Add as much as you want, depends on how much heat you can handle. Then squeeze in your citrus. You could always add more lime, more lemon, more valentina if you want. Then I add pepper and then I add salt. And I always, always, after I mix, I make sure to taste as I go. A recipe for me is always a guideline or a blueprint. And I always adjust as I go. So I add some squirt, you know how you do. And then I just mix it up a little bit. This gives it a little bit like fizziness. And then I add my ketchup. And this, you know, you could add as much as you need to just to make, give it a little thickness. And you'll know when to stop because it'll taste like ketchup then you have to add more of the other stuff. So add all your vegetables in. I add every vegetable except my aguacate. I don't add that in because it tends to oxidize and I like this to sit and marinate, you know, just at least for a couple hours. Now, not saying you can't eat it right away, but I like to like let mine marinate for a while and let it get happy with the shrimp inside. As you notice, I took the tail off of my shrimp and then I cut it in half lengthwise. This makes it more manageable to eat and it still gives it a look like there's really some nice big pieces of shrimp in there that will fit on a cracker. Now my favorite part, I'm about to style you guys out. Now there's no right or wrong to anything. It's all, you know, what you want to do with stuff. So if you want to add a little bit more of something to any recipe, go ahead, as long as you like it. Thank you for watching my version of Cocktail de Camarón. This is In Your Mouth. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Like and subscribe.